Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're diving into the latest tech and gaming news, from Intel's latest BIOS updates and new mode for Assassin's Creed to the latest rumors about AMD processors. All this and more coming up, so stay tuned on Edge Runners. First up, we have some critical news from Intel. The company has released a new BIOS microcode version, 0x12b, aimed at addressing ongoing issues with its Raptor Lake processors. This marks Intel's third patch attempt to rectify stability problems that have been affecting the performance of their 13th generation CPUs. However, the situation is more complicated than it seems. Reports indicate that this new microcode actually reduces the performance of certain Intel 13th generation processors. Users have expressed frustration, particularly gamers and content creators who rely heavily on CPU performance. Given the competitive landscape with AMD's rise in offerings, this could lead to a significant impact on Intel's market position. Interestingly, information from Gigabyte's website states that Microcode 0x12b is touted as the final solution to stability issues for Intel CPUs from the last two generations. This could imply that Intel is preparing to move forward without further updates for Raptor Lake, leaving some users concerned about lingering performance issues. In gaming news, let's shift gears to Ubisoft. Renowned analyst Tom Henderson has reported that Ubisoft is gearing up to introduce a new cooperative mode called League for Assassin's Creed Shadows. This mode will be added after the game's launch, allowing players to dive into the narrative together. Although details remain scarce, it's rumored that players will be able to experience the campaign through the perspectives of two characters, Naoi and Yasuke. This could add a fresh layer of depth to the gameplay, making it even more immersive and engaging. And that's not all. Ubisoft is also working on Assassin's Creed in a fully multiplayer project expected to launch in 2025. With the popularity of cooperative and competitive gameplay on the rise, it seems Ubisoft is keen to capitalize on this trend in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Now let's talk about the memory chip market. Recent reports indicate a significant drop in consumer demand for DRAM and NAND chips, leading to price declines across the board. Over the past few quarters, the memory segment has experienced quite a roller coaster, largely driven by post-COVID market adjustments. The saturation of the market has resulted in manufacturers sitting on large inventories of older generation chips, particularly DDR4 memory, which has seen a staggering 17% price drop in September alone, according to DRAM Exchange. Experts believe this current downturn is a healthy market adjustment as consumers transition to newer technologies, the demand for outdated components is cooling off. With the industry moving toward AI-powered devices, we might see a rebound soon. But for now, the landscape looks challenging for chip manufacturers. Intel is making waves once again, but this time it's about cooling. Reports indicate that the location of the hotspot on Intel CPUs for the new LGA1851 socket has changed compared to the older LGA1700 socket chips. This revelation came from well-known German overclocker Der Bauer. Hartung notes that the new hotspot is positioned slightly further north, which could lead to performance issues with existing cooling solutions. Users with traditional tower coolers or liquid cooling systems may need to re-evaluate their setups to ensure optimal performance. To address these changes, Durbauer and his team are already working on new water blocks specifically designed for the upcoming Arrow Lake S processors. The innovative design will feature repositioned liquid inlet and outlet ports, aimed at enhancing heat dissipation and overall cooling efficiency. In the world of graphics, NVIDIA has temporarily halted shipments of the GeForce RTX 4060 and RTX 4060 Ti GPUs to its AIC partners. However, insiders claim that this is a routine adjustment to manage inventory levels and is not expected to create any significant shortages in the market. WCCF Tech reports that retailers currently have sufficient stock, so gamers need not worry about availability. NVIDIA's strategy appears to be focused on balancing supply and demand to keep prices stable and consumers happy. Turning our attention to AMD, it appears the company is halting production of the Ryzen 7 800X 3D. This move is reportedly in preparation for the impending launch of the Ryzen 9 800X 3D. Insider information shared by Moore's Law is Dead reveals that AMD is significantly cutting back on shipments of the 7 800X 3D, leading to noticeable shortages. This decision seems strategic. AMD aims to clear existing inventory before launching the new processor, ensuring there are no competing cheaper alternatives. This proactive approach follows challenges AMD faced during the Ryzen 9000 series release, where many consumers opted for the more affordable previous-gen processors. 
Now let's discuss the highly anticipated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5000 series. According to Digital Foundry, the RTX 5080 is expected to deliver around a 10% performance boost over the RTX 4090. However, there's some uncertainty about what this means in terms of average performance or specific tasks like ray tracing. The flagship RTX 5090 is projected to consume around 600 watts, while the RTX 5080 is expected to draw about 400 watts. For comparison, the RTX 4090 typically uses between 300 and 350 watts during gaming sessions. Despite the shift to a 4 nanometers process, experts are skeptical that power efficiency will see a major increase. Much of the performance boost in the RTX 5000 series may come from advancements in DLSS technology rather than sheer hardware improvements. Innovations in frame generation technology could lead to substantial FPS increases without needing drastic changes in hardware. Exciting news is on the horizon for Intel fans. Intel's next-generation Arrow Lake S processors and the accompanying LGA1851 socket motherboards are set to be officially announced on October 10th. Media representatives will have the chance to preview these new products at a closed press event on October 7th. The global launch of the Core Ultra 200K processors and Z890 motherboards is scheduled for October 24th, which will also be when the embargo on product reviews is lifted. This will give tech bloggers and major hardware publications the chance to share their independent tests and impressions of these new chips. Sony has rolled out a new PlayStation 5 update that makes jailbreaking much harder for those looking to hack their consoles for pirated games. A key change affects the Restore Licenses feature. Users can now only restore licenses for games already installed on the system. Before it was possible to restore any purchased game, installed or not. This means that once the PS5 is offline, jailbroken users will lose access to most of their purchased digital games, relying only on pirated copies. The update also blocks the ability to create game backups for sharing. For regular users, this update won't affect normal gameplay, it only targets console hackers. For those looking to build a new PC, Montec has just launched the King 95 Ultra case. This premium case features a sleek design, customizable RGB lighting, and advanced cooling options to optimize airflow and system performance. Limited to just 24 units, this exclusive case is priced around $300. For PC enthusiasts, this could be an excellent opportunity to snag a unique case that stands out from the crowd. In the realm of gaming expansions, Bethesda has officially released its first major DLC for Starfield titled Shattered Space. Priced at $30, this expansion promises a more focused narrative experience with handcrafted locations, setting it apart from the procedurally generated worlds of the main game. This expansion has received mixed reviews, but many fans appreciate the effort to deliver a more traditional, story-driven experience within the expansive universe of Starfield. As for AMD, rumors are swirling around the highly anticipated Ryzen 9 800X3D, expected to launch later this month. This new CPU is rumored to feature a redesigned 3D vCache layout, promising even better gaming performance, especially in CPU-intensive scenarios. With its strong focus on gaming performance, this processor could potentially redefine how we perceive CPU capabilities in gaming applications, especially against Intel's latest offerings. In GPU availability news, there's a reported shortage of the GeForce RTX 4090 in the German market. Major retailers are struggling to keep stock on the shelves, with some models selling at prices significantly above the manufacturer's suggested retail price. This situation mirrors earlier shortages faced during the peak demand for GPUs, highlighting ongoing supply chain issues that continue to affect the market. Gamers hoping to upgrade may need to be patient or consider alternative options. To wrap things up, Epic Games recently announced plans for new, playable experiences in the Valorant universe, which will be unveiled during Unreal Fest. Notably, the game will transition to Unreal Engine 5, enhancing graphics and gameplay mechanics without raising the minimum hardware requirements. This transition promises to make Valorant more accessible while simultaneously improving the overall experience, ensuring it remains a strong contender in the competitive FPS market. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Drop a comment below on which story excited you the most. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.